Welcome to this Thursday night in the NBA, right here on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Perry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Okay, so the Philadelphia 76ers, they come in off the loss to Portland. You know, guys, you hate to get embarrassed by the own court, but that's exactly what happened. It was a tough loss for them. Well, you, you never want to yeah, concede a game before too. you play it. That it. said, though, they were just over the match. Match. Tough thing about that one is they also were playing a, a poor opponent, so no fire in that game. And that sticks with you a little bit. Now look at Philadelphia. Boom! Hey, on commence avec Anthony. Oh, was out there with Griffin. Jeremy Lamb, and it's Rudy Gobert, and it's McConnell in at the one. They start that play with aggressive defense, finish with aggressive offense. Well, a lot of times coaches will tell you that if you play great defense, you're going to get a reward. It was a good possession all the way around. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Philadelphia is shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Non, je suis pas convaincu. Et bon, Carter aurait dû laisser ses bras euh, fixes vers le ciel au lieu de les mettre vers, euh, vers Gobert. Bon, à domicile, ça fait plaisir de retrouver le, la maison. Et euh, enfin, 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 je joue avec un câble. Donc, normalement. Les points de connexion, normalement, tu les mets en vont disparaître. Du moins, c'est des connexions répétitives, du moins. Et ça, ça fait plaisir. Allez, deux lancers ratés, si c'est deux. Et c'est Millsap avec le ballon pour Montréal. Down low, here's the Cobra. Good. This is this from Booker. Well, this is why the teammates for Booker are loving him. He keeps working on his ability to find the open teammate. Now we'll go to our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Had a chance to talk with head coach, Brett Brown. Hey, hey, hey. Well, obviously not much success in the matchup this season, and I talked to the coach. Hey, the Avoid the season sweep tonight. He said, look, we've struggled, but I feel we haven't played our best game on offense. If we can minimize mistakes and stop beating ourselves, I think we have a shot. So we'll see if they can stop shooting themselves in the foot tonight, Kevin. Back to you. That's interesting, David. Thanks. The team believing Greg at success is tied specifically to how well they shoot. And how do you set yeah. that up? Run the guys, the 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 basketball. And sometimes quality shots can come late in the possession. So we'll see if they can play deep into the shot clock. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Griffin against Milson. Five on the clock. Here's Lamb. Offensive rebound. Gobert. And at last, they get one to fall. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Here's the Cobra. And he sees yeah. that one hitting the back of the rim on the way in. The Cobra's got six. And early on, they look great. Point. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. McConnell's scanning the floor. <laughs> and that's out of bounds. Mm. Philadelphia will retain possession. Here's Gobert. Now McConnell. Shot clock at five. Back to Gobert. Here's Lamb. Yeah, not really much of a flow offensively yet. Only one of four from the field. On the wing, Porter. Guarded by O'Neal. Porter passes to Millsap. Here's the Cobra. Ah, Hangs in the air, yes. and Carter lays it up and in. Carter's got his second basket. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. 
The pass to Lamb. Launches a three. That shot, no good. And it's Montreal the other way. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Oh, Five attempts hey, merde, with merde. only one fall. And now oh, Philadelphia on the break. O'Neal kicks to McConnell. Has to go bare. Here's Lamb, defended by Carter. Fires it up. The 76ers with another miss. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Here's the Cobra. He's covered by McConnell. Outside for Millsap. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. The 76ers trail by 10. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Griffin looking around. Can they get it? Lamb missing again. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell. Super. Yeah, he's got to move on. Forget ça. about this sequence here and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Ça un set au tir, euh, vachement. <laughs> Here's McConnell, still getting warmed up offensively, no scoring hit from him. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here, trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Oh, it's cool, man. Going to be over and ah! not watching for the line that time. Player salary is obviously a large investment. Hey, so, so Brent, some other oh, yeah. investments that owners can make to help their team so, get better. Bien, either on the floor or off. Massive one, uh, Kevin, obviously, is in terms of your, your players' wellness and what it is that you're doing with your physical therapy staff, your strength and conditioning no, staff. You want these guys available at the best and maximum potential physically that they can give you. A lot of teams, quite frankly, in the past couple of seasons, Kevin, looking into other ways, holistic therapies, mental approach that they can uh, have mental wellness for their players as part of their programming. So teams that think you build some beautiful practice facility Olé. where let the guys go bounce the ball around and shoot are, are absolutely missing. Uh, yes. Yeah, they're missing the boat on what it is that their players require, need, and need to be complete as people. And so here is Philadelphia after the basket by Montreal. Passes to Lamb. Five to shoot. And a miss there on the triple. Well, his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find <laughs> the rhythm? And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in I love it. And here's McConnell after Devin Booker getting his shot to go from deep. McConnell finds Griffin. Puts up a three. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. And here's Montreal. They're on a 19 to 4 run. And Millsaps. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Here's Griffin after the basket by Montreal. Pass to O'Neal. A three. It's rebounded by Montreal. Porter in the corner. The pass to the Cobra. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now here's Griffin. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Oh non! Ouais, je suis là. Il veut jouer trop vite. Et voilà. 
A floater. Carter pulls oui, it in. Joué, ça. Montreal leading by 19 points. To the paint, here's Booker. Some oh, solid defense there from Lamb. Oh. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They grab their own miss. Nice shot by Gobert. Mm -hmm. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been. And first time out of the game called for Montreal. Vince Carter is checked in for Porter, and it's Caldwell Pope in for Devin Booker. Here's the Cobra. He's got 10. Pass to Carter. Here's the Cobra. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one's on Anthony. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. Montreal is shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. J'aurais mieux quand même à domicile, pour les lancer francs. Ah, est-ce que maintenant que j'ai une bonne coup, est-ce que ça va être un peu mieux? Dans les matchs euh, genre contre euh, Raph ou Nantes ou Alex. Je sais pas. Bah, cette année Raph c'est un de mort, à part peut-être pour les playoffs, mais peut s'affronter encore. Sinon c'est dans régulière. Hein. En régulière c'est mort. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now they need to basket. Fires at the elbow. No good. Shot missing. And it's Montreal the other way. Caldwell Pope against Harris. Good. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Passes it to Pop. Here is Cook. Rebound by Williams. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here is Carter. No points in the game yet for him. Williams finds Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. He loses from 15. <inaudible> I like Magnifique. their focus coming in. Terrific execution ah, so, so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. And it's Cook missing. <laughs> 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 by 23. The Cobra passes to Caldwell. Ah, la, parfait. Ah, Caldwell Pope's got six. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Harris outside. Pass to Anthony. Can they get it? He lays it in. <laughs> There's no stopping Mello there. Too strong for any kind of defense. It's going to take a bit more than that. Carter, the pass to the Cobra. The feed to Olenek. Powell with the steal. Yeah. Here's Kanar, defended by Carter. Cook, good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from D. Cook's gone 50% from the arc, one of two. And there's a minute 45 left here in the opening quarter. The Cobra but no, but... ah. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot yeah not easy to do there and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot it worked out for them this time but they give it to him again I, I bet three points are coming Kevin remember he played the point guard position for most of high school so Olenek has retained that vision 
102 left to play in the first quarter. And the foul called on the oh, is is first quarter. Of the game. So for Montreal. Ah, man. On top of the Here's Hill. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And that one is good. I'd like to see George Hill distribute to his teammates a heads up play there. The 76ers trail by 21. Wendell Carter is out there with Paul Milson. Then it's Porter. Then it's the Cobra. And it's Hill in at the two spot. Right Left side, Griffin. He kicks it to O'Neal. Four on the clock. Shoots from the high post. Pulled the yeah, shot a little bit, but the bounce goes his way. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, so on the floor for Philadelphia, we've got Jeremy Lamb. Griffin is out there with Rudy Gobert. Then it's O'Neal, and it's McConnell in at the one spot. Here's the Cobra. Quoi? Griffin with the steal. Alors ça, on me la fait pas souvent celle-là. Hein. On la prend dans mes. And Lamb slams it home. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. And it's Carter ah, missing. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut ah, the mustard shoot. here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Now here's Lamb. O'Neal issues the Lamb. Just five on the clock. Out of bounds, Montreal takes yeah. possession. Montreal. Booker, he's dragged in for Hill. Yeah, Booker is back. Is back. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for Montreal. Millsap in the corner. Normalement, on met ça quand il est sur les côtés, il est quasiment jamais. Il y a une tête de contraction sur les côtés, c'est un truc de fou. Booker against Lamb. From deep, three-point range. And it's out of bounds, last touch by Lamb. Ok. Pour l'instant, match... Ah, c'est facile. Mais malgré tout, j'ai fait 2-3 erreurs. Montreal déjà, leading by 19 points. The Cobra passes to Millsap. Hey, Millsap! Encore! Really keeping the ball, hopping around Je passe déjà. Pas mal. Philadelphia with the ball. And there's the pass to Lamb. Moins de points prévus que prévu, mais. Euh... The 10 footer. Another miss by Philadelphia. <laughs> Merci, je prends un rebond devant Gobert. Tout va bien. Ah, c'est trop loin ça. check out the hops on Blake Griffin, just one of those lethal alley -oop threats in the NBA. Booker the pass to the Cobra. Back to Booker. To the left wing. Huh? Here's Millsap. And it's Philadelphia Putain, with the merde. rebound. Merde! Soul! Tu apprends ça, toi? Eh, retour en arrière! Oh! C'est quoi, cette vanne? C'est quoi? McConnell with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Over in the corner lane. Six on the shot clock. Shot on the wing. And it's off the back rim. No good. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Allez. Allez. 16 points for the Cobra. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Griffin against Carter. Oh, y'a rien. Oh, 
Look at Griffin Ripper. staying strong down low. Even when he knows the hit is coming, Kevin, great concentration and toughness shown there. Philadelphia shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. good on the free throw. <laughs> There's some unique qualities to the play of Blake Griffin, a big man, incredible handles and passing skills who can still throw it down. And he sinks the second. Montreal leading by 20. Booker looking around. Here's the Cobra. Oui, on fait si le met. Bien joué, Carter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. For Montreal, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. <sighs> and there yeah. falls for Carter. <laughs> 27, 50, pas mal. Here's Philadelphia. Vraiment pas mal. Ça. Now here's McConnell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points. No, but vas-y. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. It's his first trip to the line. Ouais, ça des fautes. En plus c'est ah ouais, en plus c'est des trucs comme ça. Oh putain, mais j'ai fait n'importe quoi là. Ah oui, je suis du caca là. First free throw is good. C'est moi il a mis. So we get some both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Montreal calls timeout. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. But players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. Some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. Montreal leading by 21. Here's the Cobra. He's got 16. Outside Porter. Lobbed up there for Booker. Good play defensively. Outside Griffin. And good that time. Griffin's got five points so far. Uh, Blake Griffin is still very, very strong, and that solid foundation and base is helping him on the inside. The Cobra passes the cart. No, the glass ah. to finish the way. Way. He's got nine. Hey, so it's pas, like he's got more feel oh, tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on points, that ball as he's letting it go. Pas so the wing on the left. Pas tout faire, hein. pas des points, des passes, et can hit the Allez, turnaround jumper. A slight yeah. rebound advantage for them. One more time in their favor. Oh. And it's all adding up. Gives Ooh. the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the tip. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Philadelphia with the ball. Allez, petit con, sympathique. And he's able to get it back. Just find the shoot. 
Allez, encore un petit pont, ça passe. Oui. Et c'est Millsap avec le ball pour Montréal. Passe à Booker. C'est un bon pass par Montréal ici. Here's the Cobra. That's good. Prince. And it's Millsap with the assists. The Cobra's got nine points in the quarter. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And Gobert kicks to Lamb. Hands it from downtown. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Here's the Cobra. He's got 21. Carter, the pass to book. Over Lamb. Again, Montreal. Looking a little bit like Rip Hamilton as Booker's able to knock down the in between shot. And the 76ers call time here. And Coach can't be happy. And, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Dwight well, Powell's checked in for Griffin. Anthony comes in for O'Neal. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Lamb. And Quinn Cook subbed in for TJ McConnell. Here's Cook. Millsap grabs the miss. Well, the D's so tight on him and makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance to do a tough one because of the defense. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Here's Anthony. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. Anthony, the pass to Gobert. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Gobert's got his third bucket of the night. Melo getting to the pick and roll game that time. Tremendous at feeding the screener if there's enough room to get it there. The Cobra passes to Millsap. The game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. Here is Cook. He's got eight. Not going to go that time. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Allez, double double là. Ah ben non, depuis longtemps en fait. Ça se passe. Ah, je pas ça, là. Ah, ben, ça, c'est super. Allez, Cook. Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Cook Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire Dis-moi, qu'est-ce que tu fais Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. It's Anthony with the drive. Good D by Williams. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. Ah, Booker, t'as vu? I he laid it straight up and in. Ça, un alley -oop, en fait. Anthony in the corner. They get the rebound. Another shot. Cook, good. Cook's got 10 points. I mean, the number of points they scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And so it's Montreal. <laughs> Je voulais pas tenter, j'étais trop loin. Ça sent en vue, je suis en Ça pas d'importance. Parce que je suis en train de faire Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA halftime show on 2K Sports. Well, for Montreal. Kenny, what did you see from them? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track meet. Shaq, what'd you think about Philadelphia? Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. 
Without major improvement this game oh. is all 73% and tir et les autres 35. Oh. 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 Pauvre Gobert, il doit, il doit bien, se, rend, il doit bien te, euh, se sentir seul. Bon, c'est ça qui peut être un peu à sa hauteur et encore. C'est Griffin. C'est un autre. Oh ouais. Double, double, ouais, oui, double, double. Comme tu dis. 23 points, 3 rebonds, 1 contre. Plus, euh, je crois deux ou trois interceptions et euh, on se passe en une mi-temps. Merci les gars. Oh là là, est-ce que je... Oh non Putain, je trouve des Gobert il a tellement les bras longs que... Ah, je suis dégue. Putain. Je l'ai fumé l'autre. Putain, il y a des portes de Tutu. Bon, on sait Carter c'est pas le meilleur en lancer franc, mais bon, il est pas nul non plus. Le bras est capable d'en louper deux. Hein. Bien joué. <rire> déjà, on prend pas deux, déjà, <rire> c'est déjà bien. Il est capable d'en mettre deux aussi. On va voir si je vais porter la poisse ou pas. <rire> en même temps, si tu faisais des filles en face, euh, pas de pression, il n'y a pas d'enjeu particulier, on va dire. Outside Griffin, down to five on the shot clock. Lamb trying to free himself up. Griffin's shot is off. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebound. Allez, boom, porteur des oeufs. Well, I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Now here's Lamb. Shot from free throw range. Et le shot va de Rudy Gobert. Gobert a 8 points. C'est un grand move et il catch la défense complètement off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Here's the Cobra. He's got 23. Hill has the open look. Ah, dommage. Off line with his three. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Après, je tape, je tape Griffin. Now McConnell. Ça va, ça. Back to Griffin. Lui Carter, mais a rien là. Tu sais plus quoi là. Ça va. And Griffin is physical right there, bumping in and picking up a personal. Putain, on a bien défendu. And he's kept his percentage at a decent level, right around 74. And he knocks down the first one. Griffin hits them both. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth. Ah, the Carter. Damn, merde. Now here's McConnell. 
Ouais, tout seul, là. C'est normal, là. Défense, là. Well, if Griffin's gonna get the ball in that spot, he becomes unstoppable. You know he's looking to jam it there, Kevin. Pass to Hill. Outside, Porter. Here's the Cobra. Putain, mais pourquoi mon, mon joueur il a fait ça là Putain, mais non, non, pour quoi là Ah, oh, c'est Carter's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Millsap has the open look. From Putain, outside, off merde. The yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only really? one for the first five. McConnell passes to Griffin. Again, Philadelphia. Time out, time out. This is hey, mais les gars, réveillez-vous, là. Sérieux, là. C'est ça, on y a 23 points, là. Montreal calls time out. And doesn't like how things are going oui, right the now. Time right. out before the time out here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. And Montreal making a change here. Hooker's checked in. Harris has checked in for the 76ers. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Outside Porter. And the pass to the Cobra. He feeds it to Carter. Gobert with the defensive end. Telefonic, so. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Montreal leading by 23. Passes it to the Cobra. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Big miscommunication. On defense, he recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another, Greg. Now here's Lamb. Seven points in the game. Let's it fly. The shots go for Griffin. Uh, Griffin's got 13. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head. Finding some more efficient mais Carter, opportunities. Mais tu veux pas louper ça, Carter? Oh, putain, mec. C'est pas possible. Booker against Lamb. Back to Harris. Left side, Griffin. It's rebounded by Montreal. Ah. Carter's got double digit rebounds now in the game. alors qu'on mène 25 points, ça sert à rien. And that one falls for Paul Millsap. And Paul Millsap, pretty steady throughout his career from the free throw line, struggled a bit last year. Let's see if he can stay on pace for this campaign. Now here is Harris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. To Lamb, outside Griffin. Shot clock at five. The 76ers need to get off a shot, and it's good for two. That's ten points for Rudy Gobert. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Gobert brings the double team. Here's Carter. And he's got to be too tired. With the defensive effort. Hey, we're going to have to finish it on. Here's O'Neal. Porter pulls it in. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Montreal. Pass to the Cobra. Out to Carter. Launches it. 
Ça prend au calme, tout va bien. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three point shooters in the league. Up top, Gobert. He's got 10. Here's Harris. Eyes again. Gobert's got 12 in the game. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. A few of the other guys Mais non, c'est Carter kicks to Booker. Some nice passing by Montreal here. And that Et voilà, c'est mieux ça. He's got 15. And now the defense has to shift what they're going to try to do with Paul Millsap getting off to a hot start time here. Out, time out. And the 76ers call time Ooh, here. Time out. Trying to get them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go. Get back on track. Ça change rien. Williams is checked in for Montreal. Philadelphia also making some changes. Powell, he's checked in for Gobert. Carmelo Anthony comes in for Royce O'Neal. And it's Kennard in for Jeremy Lamb. Now here's Anthony. They get a hand on it. Feeds to Powell. Great to see when Melo starts his open teammate, good at noticing the overcommitment that time. Here's the Cobra. Good assist from Booker. Booker's got assist number five here tonight. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Now here is Harris. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Porter. Non mais comment And now Philadelphia on the break Harris has got the ball Mais je jouer ça And they're able to recover Powell buries it from about 10 feet away Powell's got 6 points They're making this a runaway And the only question for me right now Is just how big the lead will eventually become Now here's Porter Pocket six. Now the pass to the Coke. Here's Booker. And again, uh, Booker. That makes 15 assists. Donc, He's been euh, one step ahead of the game. Je sais même pas qui était là-bas. Je sais même pas qui était à moi. Now here is Harris. He's covered closely. Putain, mais ils ont de la chatte. Kennard kicks to Anthony. Putain de chatte. Back to Kennard. On the wing, Harris. Money from the oh. wing. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and it opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Here's the Cobra. 27 points for him. On the wing, Porter. On the Porter. C'est nice. C'est nice. C'est vraiment nice. Anthony against Booker. Anthony kicks to Griffin, and he's good on the three ball. Griffin's got 11 points in the quarter. Ils ont de la chatte là. Franchement, ils ont de la chatte depuis le retour de la deuxième Trying to will his team back in the game. Pass to the Cobra. And here's Porter from outside the arc. Good. Voilà. C'est mieux ça. Booker's got six assists in the game. Pas pour tirer pas pour trois points. On est bon. On est une bonne équipe pour trois points. Both of them looking towards the No! Mais vas-y, ouais, je m'en fous, il y a un rebond pour moi là. Vas-y, mais n'importe quoi. Là. C'est vrai, quand tu le rebondes. On va aller. Now here's Olenek. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. And not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Caldwell Pope against Griffin. And it goes oh, to two points. And 11 Thank points you. for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Yeah, and then knifing into the middle. Caldwell Pope, not just a perimeter threat. Young fella can elevate. Powell, the pass to Anthony. Now Montreal moving it up. 
Here's a winning. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. Yeah, and Olenek up and down at the free throw line early in his career, but with his touch, he's bound to become more consistent. For Montreal, they have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Troisième carton, il est pas ouf. Hein. C'est pas un quatrième carton, serait un peu mieux. En plus, je vais bientôt être remplacé normalement. And that one falls for a while. Sunset transfer, ça va. Out of bounds, Montreal ah takes possession. <laughs> That's two teammates who need to reintroduce <laughs> themselves to one another, not on the same page. Some changes for Philadelphia. Caboclo, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. Stauskas comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Ferguson subbed in for Kennard. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. We've got Otto Porter Jr., the Cobra out there with Hill. Then it's Wendell Carter, and it's Millsaps with the power And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Yeah. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers okay. able to retain possession here. Oh, mais c'est con ou quoi Yeah, that's a tough one, Kevin. An experienced player in the pro game. Et ils avaient pas de concentration ces joueurs, c'est pas possible. Ah la vache, là. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. The Cobra passes the corner. Ah, la carte se la loupe, il y a un problème. Ça se passe quand même, ça se passe. J'ai mis que... J'ai mis que... 27 points, ouais. Enfin, voilà, il y en a beaucoup qui devraient mettre 27 points. McConnell with it. Bring, you know, the NBA not the only league with great players and great play. Talk about some of the other prominent leagues around the world. There's some terrific competition. There's some great competition overseas in, in, in the Turkish leagues. Uh, some very good players that play in the Russian league. There are Allez, some great that's players that's who are coming out of Australia, and we're actually seeing players now skip playing in the G League to go down to Australia yes. to start their development and professional careers. So the, when we talk about the world game, Kevin, we're not joking around. It's a, it's a very real thing, and we continue to invite the best players that we can find, and they come from all over. Six to shoot. Gobert trying to get open. Oh, the officials are all over that one. And he makes the first. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Hill. And both free throws, good for Stauskas. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Carter outside. Outside Porter. Some nice passing by Montreal here. Pass to the Cobra. Good. Nice assist from Booker. 31 points for the Cobra. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Here's Ferguson. <laughs> and Gobert up. kicks to Stauskas. Ferguson for three. Millsap grabs the miss. Millsap's got six rebounds in the game. Bien joué, ça. Oui, bien joué. Génial. Bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Some of the greatest shooters in the game always talk about being on balance. Booker does a great job there. Keeps his eyes on the prize. One shot. 
been a few players now host podcasts, participate uh, with those elements, with those vehicles during the season. Any thoughts on that? I think it's great. I think it's fantastic for our fan base and for our, our players to have an outlet, to have to have conversations and share a little bit more about their personality. It, it, it grows them as people, I think, Kevin, especially I've listened to J.J. Oh. Reddick's many times. Oh, oh, oh it's not a three points. It's merit a three points. Their interests and how they're spending time. And I think if you were a young player, let's say you were a high school senior and you're going, or you're a college player and you're listening to some of the things that guys are talking about in their experiences, I think it's invaluable for what it is that you don't know exists mm -hmm. around the player in the NBA and for you to start having considerations about how difficult the task is, how mentally taxing. So these things are great out there. And that one goes out of bounds. That's by Porter. That's, that's tough because mm. that so one's preventable. Like that. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Devin Harris has checked in for TJ McConnell. Harris looking it over. And now uh, Porter pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. <laughs> And every year, Porter seems to get better. His three-point shot continues to evolve, and he's embraced taking on more responsibility. Two shots. Two shots. Bon, 33 points d'avance. J'aimerais bien surtout euh, qu'ils n'atteignent pas les 90 points. Ça va être compliqué quand même. Bon, déjà, s'ils n'atteignent pas les 100 points, ça va être bien. First free throw is good. Something Commissioner ah, Silver has mentioned, Brent, the possibility fun, of a mid-season tournament. You ever see that happening? It would be interesting to see if, if that idea grows some legs here, Kevin, and adopting what it is that in, in soccer leagues in Europe ha have done for many years because uh, teams hone in très, on très what bon those bon individual si cups mean and the competition raises and loupé. you earn something for the end of the year. Uh, if Commissioner Silver can find a way to get that done, it can be very interesting instead of an all-star weekend to have teams gather for a mid-season tournament with something on the line. Mm, Elevated competition. Well, kids play that in high school, they play that in the college line. It would make sense that it could fit in the NBA as well. It'd be interesting, and especially yeah. halfway through the year, to reinvigorate your fan base mm -hmm. with something like that, I think would be great. Good point. Ferguson misses. <laughs> This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance up. we are seeing. <laughs> and Millsap shoots it in. And Millsap really getting up for that one. Love the aggressiveness. Pass to Stauskas. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. Wow, wow. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Montreal on D. Carter with the block. Here's the Cobra. Booker in the corner. Another possession. Oh. Another assist. Another possession. Allez, another pass. assist. You know, Greg, he's sure the ball well hitting his guys in their spots. And it's Harris off the drive. The pass to Ferguson. And Stauskas has it in the oh, corner. Seven. The 76ers with another miss. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Booker finds Porter. Back to Booker. Some nice passing by Montreal here. Just five to shoot. Double team on Millsap. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. The offensive rebound. Millsap misses. Now here is Harris. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Tipped away. Passes it to Kaboka. Back to Harris. To stop the drought. And the jumper oh, falls. You can't on. just stop That's when there's it. a pick set up got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Feeds it to Millsap. That shot, no good. 
And the 76ers go the other way with it. Ferguson for three. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Booker's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside Porter. Back to Booker. Three-pointer. In the second half. Well, the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Now here is Harris. And when it comes to choosing Brent, the MVP, the coach of the year, the rookie of the year, all these different great awards, do you like the current voting structure uh, for these big awards right now? I, I don't mind the current voting structure. I don't know how you get away from what it is that, in terms of handing people ballots to, to figure out who it is that they think have earned those awards throughout the year, Kevin. What I don't like about the structure is that you have media members who are voting on hey, things that have huge financial ramifications for organizations. Mais non, mais, 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 the ability to keep their star player mm -hmm. with the team and so that that needs to be fixed and fixed immediately i do not like the media wait a minute wait 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 that's we, i am the you media. are the media kevin strike that let's re rewind can we delete that <laughs> and it's the 76ers with the ball cook looking it over Kicks it to Griffin. Pass to Ferguson. Now Montreal moving it up. Here's Porter. That's yeah. I didn't use this bus. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage. Some more yeah, the defense trying to do their best to yeah. slow him down. But when he gets room yeah. like that, you got to look out. Here is Cook. Pass to Ferguson. Brent, when, we, when a team hires a new coach, what tends to be the feelings of the players in that locker, knowing there's a new voice in it? If you're a veteran player, you have the opportunity, more than likely, Kevin, to call five or six resources that know who that coach is. Because most of the time, coaches mm, there the have previous NBA experience. If you're a younger player, you're looking at uh, what it is that's being written and said about that coach to try to evaluate how it is that you're going to fit in. The biggest responsibility, Kevin, is that new coach trying to get as many of those players into the facility or at a meeting or at a what? dinner to have them understand from day one, as soon as possible, what it is that they're about, what it is he's expecting from them, and how it is he's going to go about them. Then all the other things about guesswork will go away. Yeah. All about communication. That communication and communication as quick as you possibly can. That's an important factor. It's both. And it's Cook with the ball for Philadelphia. Right side, Griffin. To halt the run, and Griffin slams it in. Yeah, and the 2009 draft number one pick, Blake Griffin out of Oklahoma, right now doing everything on offense. Now here's Booker. Outside Porter. Tries it from nine. Rebound by the 76ers. Brent, obviously, some good players have taken less money for a chance at a winning championship situation. Uh, that's made some rich teams even better. Well, you, you have to appreciate a player in that regard thinking that the financial game is going to have somewhere else and playing for a team that, that's not capable of doing what it is that you're trying to do, and that's win a championship, that they've decided 
Look, it's not about that for me. What it is is about the experience of being around a team that elevates itself to being the best team in the league. And if you're fortunate enough at the highest level, Kevin, as a basketball player, to be around a championship, that experience sticks with you for a lifetime. So you do appreciate guys looking for those opportunities to be around a championship. And that one's good. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Montreal. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything <laughs> was just on <laughs> <laughs> wow, they finished the season series undefeated. Four games, four wins, really asserting their dominance. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for the Cobra. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. And Philadelphia has possession after the basket by Montreal. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. Up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Go Barry's checked in for Philadelphia. Yes. Ah bon. Here is Cook. Here's Stauskas. The dish to Cook. Ah, merde. 32 bien, seconds left in the fourth Et quarter. That one falls. Yeah, you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. The Cobra passes to Millsap. Je ce que je voulais donner à. Comment ça s'appelle? There's the pass to the Cobra. Out of bounds. Je voulais donner à. Merde. Il était à côté là. Capteur, je pense que c'était efficace. Il était aux 3 points. And here are the 76ers now. Here is Cook. For 3, Stauskas. Paul Millsap with the rebound. Here's the three. Oui! Trois fois la fin. Oh, c'est violent. Ah oui, ouais, je m'en fous. C'est tout beau. Ça te passe fini, ça te passe fini. Même si on mène l'argent. Pas moyen. So we see Montreal get the win here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, oh, this game could really <laughs> be a defining one for what they can do when, when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony. <sighs> Ça fait plaisir. 42 minutes du jeu. Ah ouais, shoot. 43 points, 7 rebonds, 20 passes, 4 interceptions, 1 contre. Oh, 4 balles perdues, mais. Ouais. J'ai fait 2 fautes, c'est bien. J'ai fait moins de fautes que d'habitude. Euh, 18-24 au tir, 2, 4, 3 points, 5, 5 au lancer franc, 1 rebond offensif, plus 56, 2 dunks et 85 points provoqués. Magnifique. L'autre côté, c'est pas ouf. Griffin qui a marqué plus de points. Il y a Gobert qui fait un double double. C'est pas folichon, ok. Bon, on va regarder mon équipe. Mais ça double double. Ça fait un match correct, on va dire. Il peut avoir double double, après il faire un triple double presque. T'as 7 rebonds. Double double pour Carter Junior. Carter, euh, Carter bon, on a reçu une copie correcte, on va dire. C'est si pas mal, 10 minutes, 11 points, c'est bien. Chanette, ok. Georgil, bon, Georgil, c'est pas terrible. Oenix, c'est pas terrible. William, c'est pas terrible. Carter, c'est pas terrible. Noah, c'est pas terrible. 
Et lui, on s'en fout. <rire> Allez, du coup, on revoit ce que j'ai foutu. Avec mon seul contre du match, magnifique. N'est-ce pas Ah, j'ai fait un match. Franchement, le match-là, j'ai fait un match complet. J'étais pas. Par pète sans pas, j'étais ouf. Parce que 20 passes, faire 20 passes, faut y aller quand même. Après, euh, ouais, bon, après, j'ai fait quoi 40, 43, je crois. Mais c'est 43 pots, ouais, ça va encore. Et moi, j'ai fait quand même un, bon, un très bon match. C'est pas mon meilleur, mais c'est un très bon match. C'est un de mes meilleurs, on va dire. Mais bon, en face, c'est Philadelphie, donc bon. On va pas trop juger non plus. Allez, hop. Du coup, euh, ben, les matchs pour, celui qui, pour cette semaine, c'est fini. Du coup, on se donne rendez-vous pour euh, lundi prochain. Mais euh, petite, euh, petit changement. Les deux prochains matchs, je ne jouerai pas. Donc, face à Houston, je ne jouerai pas. Houston Rockets, etc. Et à domicile, face à Sacramento, je ne jouerai pas. Histoire de laisser un peu les, les autres jouer et puis surtout me reposer. Même si je ne sais pas si ça va changer quelque chose. Ouais, bon, de toute façon, comme j'ai dit la dernière fois, la saison est terminée. Enfin, est terminée au niveau. Je suis sûr d'être en playoff. Et je suis sûr de ne pas gagner et de ne pas être premier. Donc voilà. Mais bon, Los Angeles et je serai de retour parce que c'est un match important. À la base, je ne devais pas le faire. Mais vu qu'ils sont pas. Ils sont pas si mauvais que ça cette année, ben. Voilà, j'ai essayé de jouer ce match. Et du coup, ben, sinon, les matchs. Euh... Donc, Lakers, on retrouvera Lakers. Enfin, euh, je rejouerai contre les Lakers et après, ben, je rejouerai contre Indiana et Brooklyn la semaine prochaine. Ce sera les 5 matchs de la semaine prochaine. Donc voilà. Nous, du coup, nous, on s'arrête là et on se donne rendez-vous. Donc, euh, je sais, de toute façon, je ne sais même pas si je ferai des lives pour Houston et Sacramento vu que les matchs euh, vont durer 2 secondes. Euh, je verrai bien. Bon, en tout cas, le prochain gros match, ça sera face aux Lakers. Donc, on se retrouvera pour ce match. Donc, sur ce, portez-vous bien et à la prochaine. Tchou